Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how to build new habits with minimal effort? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you just that in an easy and seamless way. I like to start by preparing my workout clothes the night before. This simple step helps me wake up ready to move and makes my morning routine so much smoother. Once I get up, I always make my bed. This small act gives me a sense of accomplishment right away and helps me feel organized for the day ahead. Next, I'll put on my workout clothes. And not to forget, I will also put on my sunscreen to protect my skin from the sun. Going for a walk in the morning wakes me up and clears my mind. I love listening to a podcast while walking. It makes the experience even more enjoyable. After my walk, I came back and took a quick shower. And now, I'm doing my skincare routine. It really refreshes my face and makes me feel ready for whatever the day brings. Breakfast is really important for me to start my day so, I'm having congee, also known as porridge, to keep me full throughout the morning. After breakfast, I dive into my studies. Having a clean and quiet space helps me concentrate and stay focused. my break, I like to snack on a bit of chocolate. It's a nice little treat that keeps me motivated while I work. This is my favourite chocolate. Once my break is over, I get back to studying. Breaking my tasks into smaller pieces makes it easier to stay on track. I also make it a habit to eat fruits during my breaks. They are a quick and healthy snack that keeps up my energy. The 
next day, I decided to make a healthy lunch with tuna and cucumber. also started adding fruits to my meals, which makes eating healthier so much easier. Not only does it make my meals more colourful, but it also adds nutrients to my day. videos for October. I have a few ideas. I'm just going to quietly do my planning. <laughs>
figure out like content ideas for the month of October and um, I'm writing like a bit of ideas here and there and I came across this idea doing fragrance and I was trying to like look through my fragrance and see what smells good I just want to share with you guys like this fragrance that I really really like ever since I got it in Korea I've just been using this particular fragrance so this is from Philosophy it's the Amazing Grace Magnolia fragrance it's this pink bottle right here it has this really clean look and it smells amazing oh my god I feel like almost every Korean smells exactly like that you know when I was trying out the fragrance right and I smell it it's like oh my god I feel like so many people walk past me with this exact smell no wonder it smells so familiar and how do I describe the smell? Uh, hold on, let me check on the internet. I'm very bad at like describing the scent. To me, as long as it smells good, I will buy it. First of all, it's, it's a floral note. Okay, so if you like floral scent, then I think you might probably enjoy this one. The top note is bergamot and nectarine. Then the middle note is magnolia and violet. And then the base note is musk, driftwood and amber. Oh my god, it's actually totally different from what I usually like. So for me, I really like, like vanilla scent. And I was looking for something more like musky. And then I smell this, I was like, yep, this is going into my cup. Mmm, love this. So that is my sharing. And um, I'm going to continue brainstorm ideas. And then I'll catch you guys later. While editing my content, I also reflected on my journey. Sharing what I've learned inspires me to keep growing and connect with you guys. So, I am finally done editing a video and... Oh my gosh! Wait, hold on. So, um, the video that I just uploaded two days ago, which is the how to create a balanced light that video um apparently is doing so much better than my other videos and oh my gosh <laughs> so it's been two days since i uploaded that video and it has gotten 323 views <gasps> oh my gosh i swear to god i can cry right now yes and as of today, on the 20th of September, we have 278 subscribers. Uh, it's been 4 months since I last posted something, or I would say being consistent or doing this as like a full time. I feel like sometimes I feel so lost in my pathway, you know, like I feel like I don't know what's in front of me, I don't know what to expect, and I just don't know what to do. I have been told to just go with the flow and everything but it scares me to not know what's coming up but not say that I, I regret you know it's just like I'm used to, to someone who like knows what I want you know like I will have like a certain path like okay if I want to do this I have to do that this and that this and that in order for me to get into this place and not being able to like see where I'm going it's just like I have no idea how to explain this thing but at the same time, I feel like I'm in the right place, you know? You get what I mean? Yeah, so um, I don't know if that happens to any of you guys, but that's how I feel right now. As the day winds down, I follow my nighttime skincare routine. It's a calming ritual that helps me relax before bed. incorporating reading into my night routine. 
and it has been such a chill way to wind down. I keep a book next to my bed, so it's easy to grab and read a little before I sleep. Even just 10 minutes can make a difference. Finally, I practice gratitude by writing down a few things I'm grateful for. It sets a positive vibe for the next day. These small habits have made a big difference in my daily routine. I hope you found these tips helpful and remember, it's all about making changes that feel easy and natural. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other content here and I'll see you in the next one.